सवाल से मैं मांगी जा रही हूँ मैं उम्मीद करते हैं जल्दी कर थैंक यू डॉक्टर हेमांग जोशी जी Thank you, honourable speaker, sir, for allowing me to speak on this important subject of demand of grant under the control of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Before I start, it's my first speech. I would like to thank my party, Bharatiya Janata Party, their leaders, their karya kartas, and my beloved people of Vadodara for giving me the responsibility and opportunity to serve as an MP under the able leadership of honourable Pradhan Sevak, Sri Narendra Modi ji. सर आरोग्यम परम भाग्यम स्वास्थ्यम सर्वार्थ साधनम हेल्थ इज द बिगेस्ट वेल्थ इन वंस लाइफ इट इज द ओनली थिंग विथ विच ऑल द अदर थिंग्स कैन बी अचीव्ड इन लाइफ सर ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर जस्ट प्रेजेंटेड द यूनियन बजट एज अ रोड मैप ऑफ विकसित भारत ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन देर आर मैनी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स बीन फोकस्ड फॉर द हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर ऑफ अवर कंट्री एंड आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ योर काइंड अटेंशन towards it as per my analysis sir 14% increase in allocation for health research department which is 3301 crore 7.4% increase in ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana which is 7300 crore sir 19% increase in indian council of medical research which has played a crucial role earlier uh, uh, honorable minister has just mentioned it in his speech during the covid times which is 2732 crore and 38.5% increase in national tele mental health program sir when we talk about providing healthcare experts to bharat creating medical education ecosystem is one of the major task on which since last 10 years NDA government under the leadership of Hon honorable pm sir has worked tremendously in 2014 uh, the number of medical colleges in bharat was 387 which has been increased to 706 till first quarter of 2024 which is in total increase of 82% in 2014 the number of ug seats in medical education in bharat was 51348 which has been increased to 1 lakh 8940 which is in total increase of 112% similarly sir for pg seats in 2014 was 31185 which has been increased to 70674 a total increase of 127% out of 157 new colleges that are being opened under the central sponsor scheme sir 40 are coming up in aspirational districts total 3 crore 24000 plus ayushman cards has been issued to beneficiaries and honorable pradhan sevak ji's anchodaya ideology based schemes like pm ayushman bharat health infrastructure mission ayushman arogya mandir pm jan arogya yojana such schemes are benefiting significantly in the healthcare improvisation of bharat sir this government has also thought to regularize the allied healthcare professionals conditions and benefits by passing the national commission for allied and healthcare professionals act 2021 sir with this i also would like to urge honorable minister sir to provide the support under pm ayushman bharat health infrastructure mission to my constituency vadodara as it is located in central gujarat and catering to more than 5 districts for the healthcare services sir bharat's competitive advantages lies in its large pool of well trained medical professionals bharat is also cost competitive compared to its peers in asia and western countries the cost surgery cost of surgery in in bharat is about 1/10th of that in the us or western europe bharat has all the essential components for the growth in this sector including a large population a robust pharma and medical supply chain sir we have world's third largest startup pool globally with access to venture capital funding innovative tech entrepreneurs looking to solve global healthcare problems also with ai and machine learning industry wise bharatian health sector is one of bharat's largest employers 
as it employs a total of more than 4.7 million people. Sir, this is the proof that we are going ahead for Viksit Bharat under the leadership of Honorable Pradhan Mantri Shiman Narendra Modi ji. Sir, with uh, voicing out the uh, representation of our people, also I want to speak for some healthcare professionals. Sir, many things have been told for the settlement issue coming in Ayushman Bharat Yojana. There is one technical uh, thing in which we can improve this. Sir, pre-COVID, there was an ex-settlement agency for Ayushman Bharat scheme. And post-COVID, it, it, it has been changed to the agency. Why? Because of this change of the agency of the settlement, many dues are pending for our healthcare providers. And we, if we keep it constant, or if we keep the transition smooth, this problem can be solved. It is just my humble appeal to the minister. Thank you so much for providing me the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mananya Sadasya Sri Gurjit Singh Ojalaji.